Hey guys, welcome back to Vertice Models. Today I'm going to be doing a quick and easy scheme for ADMAC troops. And I'm going to be painting a Vanguard and a Ranger. I left their backpacks separate because I'll be airbrushing those uh, solid color. Now I just got them on a block. So we'll start out with the Ranger. And I'm just doing the pre-highlight with the white. This will help our orange pop even more when we apply it next. Lava orange. And I'm just focusing on his, uh, his clothes, the robe, his hood, his sleeves the bottom of his cloak and then we'll do the same thing to the vanguard we're not too worried about overspray or anything like that because everything else will get based later So the first color we're using is lava orange and we're just spraying this right over the white. See how it makes that orange stand out a lot more with that white underneath. So then we'll do the same thing to the Vanguard. So the next color we're using is Phoenix Flames and we're just focusing this on the tips of his cloak. We're just fading it, fading it up into the lava orange. So the first color we're basing with a brush is plate mail metal, and it's basically his legs, his uh, pads, his gun, the pipes, his uh, little gas mask, basically the uh, everything else. Besides his uh, pants, the, uh, the inside of his glove, 
and the front end on his gun and the pipes around his head will be black but we'll use oils for that and then for the backpacks that I left separate I'll just airbrush those with plate mill metal not too worried about getting paint on anything else just being really careful not to get it on the orange So that's what he's looking like so far. And then for the little parchment, I just used uh, pure red and then uh, mummy robes. Just to paint the little stamp and parchment on him. Got the backpacks base, went ahead and put them all together. And now I'm doing the oil wash and I'm just applying this on the all the metallic and his pants because I didn't base those black I'm using the oil to base them and with the oil I'm just thinning it down with mineral spirits to where I can use it as a wash this is just quick and easy I get it full coverage on everything and then I'll use a sponge with just straight mineral spirits and I'll start wiping away uh, at the metallics and stuff that I want to have that metal show through while still giving it a you know a grim weathered look It takes oil a while to dry, so you can, you know, you got a lot of work time with it. But we're using it as the same principle as a wash, you know, letting it sink into the cracks. But it's the opposite, we're wiping away the surface. So you can see how it gives it that uh, that dirty metal look, the oily metal look. So we did the same thing to the, the Vanguard. This is what it looked like before. The oil wash, which is base silver. And then that's what it looks like after we use the varnish. And I just use ultra matte varnish. It's still drying on this model. So that's what they're looking like and with like the splatter and stuff from the black oil I think it gives it a cool a cool you know grimy look I like the way it looks on the back of his cape and stuff so that's kind of like a happy accident when you start wiping away with the sponge it starts to drip off so here I'm just pre-highlighting the glows that I'm going to be using the airbrush and I'm just highlighting his eyes, the little lamp on his backpack, and then his uh, arc rifle.
We'll do the same thing with the Vanguard. He's got a little different of a helmet. He's got a visor across. It's a little harder to uh, to do the highlighting. I should use a smaller brush, but I was able to get it just fine. And then after that, we'll use Kraken skin. And we're just spraying his lenses and the glows on his gun. And that white underneath will just help make it pop. Same thing to the Vanguard. And if you're having trouble aiming at small areas on your model, just do a short burst pump pump action until you find the right the right uh, distance to pull back. After you do it for a while, you'll get used to it. But that's basically it. Um, it was about five or six colors. Didn't take that long to do. And I could see myself using this scheme on a whole squad of guys. If you want to see more of our content, don't forget to subscribe. Also, feel free to check us out on Instagram or consider supporting us on Patreon. All of our links will be in the description below. It really means a lot. Thanks everybody for watching, let us know what we should make next, and we'll see y'all next time.